Hey, what's going on, Helldivers? As most of you know by now, the Emancipator mech has been released into Helldivers 2. This is the dual auto cannon mech that comes into the game after the missile launcher Gatling gun mech, the Patriot. And today we're going to take it to some different scenarios against the bugs or the bot and see how it holds up. So the Emancipator, let's go ahead and start with the good stuff first and then we'll talk about some of the bad stuff. But as a uh, precursor to that, it's not that bad. It just has some small caveat. Now we uh, played this thing on live stream for about two or so hours against the bugs, against the bot. We were on tier seven difficulty. We didn't play on hell dive, but I would imagine the performance is going to be pretty similar, just with more enemies to try and kill me. Let's talk about the automatons first, since how this mech handles both factions is very different, and it feels very different. Now right off the bat, this thing has four auto cannon. And we actually got a question in the live stream that was kind of technical. Basically, he was asking, does the Emancipator have the same guns as the sentry gun stratagem? Or is it sort of like the autocannon stratagem that you can use as a Helldiver? And I had to think about that for a bit because uh, that is a very valid question. And I did a little bit of uh, like footwork, like testing against different enemy types for the sentry gun for the Emancipator and the Autocannon, and they all seem about the same. I would say the Sentry Gun and the Emancipator probably have a little bit more penetration, slightly more than the Stratagem Autocannon that your Helldiver can use, but it's not to a large margin of difference where you're going to be like, oh my god, I wish I had this on me instead of this. Like, it's barely noticeable, if at all. Which, if you're a Helldiver that uses the autocannon stratagem, uh, you're probably well aware how strong that thing is and why it's never been buffed. Because it is just so good. Literally. But that's kind of getting <laughs> out of the scope of the video right now. The Emancipator. Do you need to be worried about the autocannons being weaker? Short answer, no. No, you don't. It performs very well in the firepower department. Now, against the Automaton, it shreds pretty much everything besides the tank towers, the factory walker, and the normal tank. Now, I suppose you can add in a dropship as well, but I don't usually shoot at the dropships uh, with my autocannon. I usually shoot the people that are on the dropships. You have 150 rounds for each, well, actually, you have 150 rounds total, I should say, 75 for each arm. Keep in mind, your arms can get shot off when you're on the Emancipator. It'll eat through the Devastators, it'll eat through the Hulks, It'll destroy the automaton factories. You basically have very little to worry about for the automaton when the Emancipator gets going. I really, really like this thing, especially if you uh, are in a good group and you guys are kind of working together with your Helldiver buddies or if you have another mech with you. You can kind of share some of the aggro. Absolutely flawless. No problem. But that's the automaton side. Well, hold on. Before I go to the bug side, I will say... It didn't shred the tank. That's not entirely true. You just need to get behind them, which is kind of a problem because the Emancipator doesn't really move that fast. But once you get behind them and you can see the vents, you hit it like a couple times and it blows up instantly. So keep that in mind. And as for the uh, factory strider, like the big giant walker thing, if you shoot the belly of the factory strider, you can blow it up pretty easily. But it's getting to that is the problem because they're not going to let you do that. They, 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 uh, they don't like you. They're not going to let you just get up close like that. So keep that all in mind. Stuff that the Emancipator does against the bugs. Um, I'm going to be honest. The list is not very long for, for the for the bugs. Personally, I probably wouldn't bother. Since you only get 150 rounds, there's so many bugs that you burn through those rounds very quickly. Especially when there's a bug breach. Which, as you know, the bug breaches happen constantly. Like every like 30 seconds. But it, you know, it does kill the bugs. Like, that's not the problem. It's just that you just run out of ammo trying to kill them. And this is kind of a problem for the automatons as well. Like, make no mistake, the automatons, you'll also kind of run out of ammo when you're shooting a whole bunch of uh, droids. Now, you're going to have a lot of problems with the chargers and the bio titans. Now, if you are a user of the autocannon, a frequent user, you sort of know what to expect. The Emancipator is just an autocannon with legs. That's all it is. So anything that the autocannon has a problem dealing with, the Emancipator is going to have a problem dealing with. It doesn't matter if it has four times the guns. 
it's going to have a problem regardless. That being said, when I've taken this thing up against a charger, it had some problems. The charger has a lot of armor on his uh, his legs and his head that the auto cannon can't really break through from the front. Now, I was able to kind of dance around a charger and get behind him. And once you get behind him and you're able to shoot his uh, his belly, you can shred just like the auto cannon. The auto cannon also does a really good job if you can get behind him. The problem is you have to do that in the middle of combat fighting god knows how many bugs and you have to worry about him like hitting you and stomping on you and he will kill you by the way like if he gets a good charge in and slams on you you will die so it's a lot to worry about this is where the patriot has the advantage if you have rocket ammo the patriot can just shoot him in the head like two or three times and he does you don't you don't have to dance around or do any kind of nonsense with him the emancipator can't do that so that's the first bad thing I'd say about this on the bug side. Um, as for everything else, uh, yeah, treads. If you get to the Bile Titan, you're going to have a problem. And there are a lot of Bile Titans. If you play on the bugs on high difficulties, they pop out every 30 seconds or so. It's crazy. Now, I saw somewhere where someone said it takes about 25 rounds to take out a Bile Titan. I don't know where they're shooting them for that to happen. Maybe I just didn't shoot them in the right spot, but it took, I think I have gameplay, well, I should be showing you gameplay of this as I'm talking about it, but it took the entire magazine to bring down a Bile Titan, and I was aiming right for his face. I mean, you could say a couple of rounds went high into the left and high into the right, we're hitting like top of his forehead. The majority of the rounds hit directly in his face, and he was just eating it. To be fair, with an auto cannon, I usually don't go after the Bile Titans either, so it's kind of asking a bit much for. You know, you get more auto cannons, but it's still an auto cannon. And to go toe to toe against a Bile Titan is kind of a problem. That being said, it did die eventually. In a perfect scenario, when there were no other enemies to worry about, there's nothing going on. It was just me and the Bile Titan, basically. It did go down. I would recommend that you stay with your fellow Helldivers and let them deal with the Bile Titans with a stratagem or a rocket launcher or something. Anything but the Emancipator. The Emancipator should be your last line of defense from going against something that's that heavily armored from the front. You just can't really deal with it. I will say, for dealing with the Bile Titan, and if you have to deal with them, make sure you shoot his, uh, his sack on his belly. If you bust both sacks, there's one all the way in the back and there's one like by his head, like towards his uh, his chest. If you bust both of those, it reduces hit points by 50%. Now that will help you out quite a bit because you're gonna have to pelt him down. And keep in mind, after you break both of his sacks, he can't spit anymore. So he's gonna go into a blind rage and try to melee you. And you cannot take a melee in this thing. I should have noted that with the automatons, uh, if you get hit by a tank, you're dead. If you get hit by the factory strider, you're dead. If you get hit by a tank tower, you're dead. If you get hit by a Bile Titan, like meleeing you or spitting on you, you're dead. If you get hit by a spitter, you're dead. So that should be pretty common knowledge by now. It's not really any heavily armored compared to the other mech, the Patriot. So keep that in mind as I'm like talking about this stuff. Now moving on to our final thoughts on the Emancipator. I have seen quite a bit of creators kind of go hard on this thing and kind of say it's trash. It's not trash. It's, it's fine. Against the bugs, sure. It's not as strong as i would like it to be but it's basically just four auto cannons with legs and the auto cannon can't really fight everything in the game so you just got to look at it at that standpoint um you got to use the right tools for the job now it, it doesn't help when there's you know 50 chargers and 17 bile titans popping up every 30 seconds that's not going to be very uh helpful in the situation <laughs> but you know it is what it is now against the automatons i think it's pretty fun uh, you can shred the hulks, you can shred the tanks if you get around behind them. If you have to shoot them in the front, I mean, you still can kill them. It's just going to take a lot of your ammo. Um, you have to kind of watch out for uh, the tank towers because they can shoot you from very far away and they will one-shot you. But other than that, I had a pretty strong time showcasing the Emancipator on stream. And if you have the opportunity to buy it, I would uh, pick it up. Now, another question is which mech is better? I can see that being kind of asked in the future or, you know, currently anyway. And it really depends. On the one hand, the Patriot mech has the missiles and the missiles are very good at dealing with the armored targets. A lot more so than Emancipator. On the other hand, the Gatling gun isn't really that great, but it does have a lot of ammo capacity, so you can kind of use it a little bit more. So, I don't know. Both mechs kind of have their own problems and solutions to those problems. It just depends on what enemy you're fighting and what kind of day it is, I guess. But I think the Emancipator is going to be my go-to choice. And I'll just have to deal with 
the certain enemies that I can't fight at on when that time comes. One more thing before we end the video. I know I've been monologuing for a while. The Emancipator has a kind of a weakness. You cannot aim the guns down. So keep that in mind. They have a very limited angle aiming the guns down. You played Helldivers enough to know that the, that the terrain is not flat all the time. There's going to be hills, there's going to be cliffs and all that kind of stuff. And when you can't aim down, you're going to have a problem. So keep that in mind. Um, it's kind of a problem on the bugs more than the bots because the bugs kind of jump on top of you a lot and not being able to aim down you're gonna have to kind of stomp on them uh you know you know remember that you can melee in your mech it's f on the keyboard um i'm not really sure what it is on console you'll have to post that in the comments down below help out the playstation hell divers um but i digress that's kind of the end of the video here that's the breakdown on the emancipator hopefully you guys enjoyed the video definitely leave a like and a subscribe if you thought it was helpful and hell divers I'll see you on the battlefield.